Hey, I'm RT and welcome back to RT's World. So today I have a very huge casino for you and it's called Snowball Rain. And this Snowball Rain casino is yeah something I quite not do very often since it's that big and a little bit impractical if you want to build it on a server or if you want to build it in your small casino um, temple or casino hub, whatever. So. I will present it to you anyways, uh, since I find it rather interesting and it's a cool, very cool concept. And as you saw in the preview, we have here the option to choose either the green side or the red side as a winning side. And I can choose one side per game, so if I put in a diamond into the green slot and then into the red one, the red diamond will be lost and I won't get it back. So that's how it works. And for example, if I want to go for the green one, it will log in and put some lights and then the snowballs, let's see where they land. Yeah, it landed on the red side, so I won nothing. Um, for example, if I go with the red side, let's see again, two snowballs. Oh, that sounds quite promising, nice. Red side, three diamonds for me, that's great. And now you wonder as a casino owner, why should I get uh, three diamonds as a customer if I only put in one? Um, the reasoning behind that is usually for for games that have a 50-50% uh, odds of winning and losing, you at maximum get two diamonds. So you always can turn a profit as a casino owner. So why do I get three diamonds here as a casino player? And the reasoning for that is, um, if I go inside here, the diamonds can still land on the other edge or they can still land at any of the four walls. So. Basically your chances are not 50-50 and if I played once more maybe they can also land in between the pressure plates. Let's see if we can do something like this. Yeah, now it landed in between the pressure plates. We won absolutely nothing. Uh, maybe I can repeat it again. Let's check it out. They go up. Yeah, now they landed um, between the two last pressure plates here and on the iron trapdoors. So there are some possibilities where you win nothing as a customer so that's why we have your one to three payout ratio so you put in one diamond but get three out so we have not a 50 50 percent casino here that's very important to know and the first part of the video will consist out of the part where i explain everything to you i will go through all the circuits here and it's a quite compact casino i guess i try to fit everything beneath the platform there uh, where you play and the second part will build a block by block tutorial. So if you want to build it with me together, you can wait for the second half of the video where we build it together. But first of all, let's talk guys. Um, if you want me to build some very cool casino ideas and not that I'm running out of ideas, I have quite a lot of ideas in my casino list I want to go through. But if you want to suggest your own casino idea to me, please make sure to write a comment and I will try my best to build it here in Minecraft and review it afterwards with you. But uh, that aside, let's go into the redstone. So down here we have obviously the item filters, we have here the filters, they still filter out diamonds as always. If we go to 19 in this slot here, I can show it to you, it will automatically go down to 18. Put this signal here on on or this redstone, it will uh, transfer the diamond into the profit chest. Here's another profit chest on the other side. And we can also see that after that, we run into this block here, we go down and go into this T flip flop, this uh, dropper dropper T flip flop. So if I again simulate that we play, we can see that the sword is now moved over there, this comparator is powered on, and this powered on comparator then turns on the redstone tech behind here. I will go into further detail in a few seconds but it also most importantly resets after a certain amount of time and the casino resets itself. So one more explanation here, these pistons here retract so you cannot play both slots at the same time. They will always retract. As you can see here, um, you can only choose one side. If you chose one side, they will retract automatically. I mean, you could technically put your two players and at the exact same moment put in two diamonds, then it will still count, but then you would have put in two diamonds, you can only win three and there's not 50-50% odds to win, so you would waste diamonds anyway. So yeah, I would not recommend that. And what it also does is um, retracting these pistons after you put in a diamond and then we can follow the green circuit here and we end up in an end gate. This end gate is represented by two redstone torches. It will uh, depower the right one if you for example choose the green side 
um, but this line here will still be powered because there's the other redstone torch and only if the pressure plates on the top here are activated for example on the green side which would be this um, floor of wool with redstone on top the green line would be activated powering this repeater depowering the redstone and this line will be depowered therefore powering this redstone torch here activating the yellow circuit and if the yellow circuit is then activated we can um, trigger this pulse shortener and we put these two observers together firing exactly three times and giving us the three diamonds that are in this dropper here so but um, how is it uh, working that the snowballs getting fired yeah the snowballs are the white line so we have here either way if, if we power the green or the red one which is basically the same it's just for different platforms we have the white circuit just follow the white circuit we power this light triggering this observer it fires once the light will go off at some point firing again and by powering those torches we end up at the uh, dispenser up here which is nice so um, what does this uh, circuit this magenta circuit do here this is our reset circuit so after the point we uh, through the snowballs this automatic redstone timer will turn on and it's around five seconds long it's two four six eight ten twelve eleven uh, thirteen repeaters set to maximum delay and after this amount of time it will simply reset everything it will reset the t flip flops here and it will also reset this t flip flop here um, pushing these pistons forward and then you can play again so it's completely multiplayer friendly it's completely single player and server friendly since uh, if some customers just keep throwing in diamonds keep breaking your machine or try to break the machine you can put in here diamonds whatever whatsoever you simply waste them and they won't do anything it still will only um, count as one game and you cannot mess with the casino tech it's very server proof and it's very foolproof so i wanted to make that uh, you can build it on a multiplayer server so um, the only downside on this casino is you have to restock snowballs all the time um, yeah two snowballs will be wasted or will be fired into the air each time a person plays and yeah you have to keep them restocked and you could also add an indicator lamp here that shows if there are enough snowballs in the machine and yeah i guess that's everything i wanted to talk about um, next up we will build this thing together so welcome to the building part um, for the building part we first of all need an 11 by 11 platform and you could make it a little bit shorter into this direction here so towards the casino uh, i simply build it 11 by 11 so you can watch it a little bit better so i guess also 6 or 7 by 11 would be sufficient but for the sake of this tutorial here and for better visibility afterwards we will do it uh, 11 by 11. Then after that we will place a green block here on the right corner and the red block on the left corner and then go 9 blocks bridging outwards, 9 blocks here and 9 blocks there. So we effectively have a 9 by 9 area here in the middle and we leave out the corner pieces. Make sure to do that and I will show it to you again. That's 9 by 9 by 9 and yeah, just build it like this. After that, we want to make sure that we build um, the platform. So we start in the middle with the sea lanterns and we go 1, 2, 3, 4. We also go from the other side from the middle, 1, 2, 3, 4 into the middle. And there will sit our dispenser. Make sure that it's a dispenser and not a dropper. For the rest of the video, we will need droppers afterwards, so keep that in mind. Then we want to fill this platform here, or this side, with red concrete. And you could basically choose any other color. I just went with red and green. Yeah, they're the classic colors if you want to have 50-50 odds. And green, the other side. Should look like this. Then we have the iron trapdoors to cover our lighting. And then we have the birch pressure plates and we keep one block um, to the uh, edge and make sure to put in this three by um, seven array of pressure plates on each side. After we did that, we will already start with the wool. And yeah, we can go down there. So we have here and we have three by seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the seventh block was already placed. That's our first platform. And then we have another three by two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
and we can already cover that completely in redstone. If you build this in survival, uh, yeah, you have to of course use some uh, scaffolding, but I will do it like this now and simply fly around. So that's our pressure plates uh, taken care of. Next up we want to count from this iron trapdoor 1, 2, 3. Put in a dropper in the floor and here we want to place our diamonds, that's our prices or whatever you want to be the price. Then we want to go 2 to the right, 1 to the front, knock this block out, do the same on the other side and then remove all the blocks here. And of course we have to remove those, replace those three blocks uh, with redstone lamps like this and repeat it for the other side with the green concrete, should look like that. Then we want to make sure that we grab ourselves some item frames, put them in here. And you could of course um, build the signs, um, write everything. You can pause the video now at this point. Maybe you will write something else or just keep it what I did here. And here will be simply the glass wall. And to speed things up, now we want to build this up here 20 blocks. So 20 blocks of glass, 20 blocks of green and 20 blocks of red concrete as well as this uh, sea lantern, blue ice, ice and snow mixture. Now everything is 20 blocks high from uh, the first block being this one and the 20th being this one. And now we want to replace this row of glass here and go inwards like this, go inwards like that and the middle block can be replaced with the quartz block. And from here on, we simply have to fill everything with some blue ice again. And yeah, of course you could use some patterns like on this side, but now I will leave it with that. And I would also su suggest to put some sea lanterns on at least on the top, so that you can see a little bit better. Like this, nice. So I guess they're completely off center now. Of course they are. So, like that. That should be better. So, uh, make sure to put in some lighting that the people or the customers can see the snowballs. So, uh, next up we want to go down. We want to start with the item filters and for the item filters we need a lot of redstone components. And we want to make sure that we have here hopper facing to the, to the right there. And then a chest and another hopper facing to the right. Repeat the same process for the other side. And here the chest. Nice. So then we want to block out two blocks from the bottom hopper. Uh, then we want to go two blocks down, two blocks into this direction and one block there. So we end up with this shape. Um, then we want to power, uh, put here some repeaters, some redstone comparator facing into the redstone line and some redstone torches there. So now we are able to put in diamonds and make sure to put in uh, a lot of diamonds and then they should go automatically down to 18 if that's uh, the case you built everything correctly let's see if it does it for this slot too so this slot is built correctly next up we want to build the t flip flops and for this we want to start with uh, two slabs with some repeaters on top then we have here a green block which is then uh, Extended by this piston here. We're going to go block down two blocks, block down another block, put in here some redstone, and then we want to move uh, to get some droppers, put them in here facing into each other, and then we want to grab quickly such a magenta wool block and put them in here. Also, make sure to connect everything like this. And we also want to make sure that we put some kind of item in there. It doesn't really matter what it is. Um, for this video, I will just use magenta wool. It doesn't really matter what you put in there. And here we have the comparator on the other side, running into either the green line and the red line afterwards. So, but now we want to focus on the orange line and the orange line will consist of two repeaters that we have uh, reading the output of those two blocks. And then we want to combine them here in the orange line like this. And in the end, they should end up all in the piston. So we go one, two, three, remove everything, put here a piston, block to the other side, put here a piston too, so this piston can grab the block. We're gonna go uh, with some redstone, put this block down one block, remove the upper one, place it there, 
put there some redstone. We want to make sure that we have a comparator. We have a dropper. We have another dropper. Then a magenta wool block here. That will be the reset one. We put in an item over there. It doesn't matter what it is. I will use magenta wool again. And an orange block there. Simply wire everything together like this. So if we put in a diamond on top, we should already see. Where, is, where are my diamonds? Should already see that, yeah, this piston is retract and they stay retracted. So next up, we want to connect this magenta line with this line here. Simply connect everything up. And now I want to focus on the lighting system. If we want, if we would choose this side or the other side, and we want to start with the green line. For the green line, we also need some repeaters. We're gonna set a repeater over there. We have a redstone torch on top. Another green block. Redstone torch. A green block. Redstone torch. Green block. Redstone torch. Since we already chose the green line, those lights are on. And we want to repeat the same procedure on the other side. A redstone torch, red block, redstone torch, red block, redstone torch, red block, and another redstone torch. And this line should be off. So then we want to grab ourselves another block here and here. A redstone torches on those blocks. Then two space. Another redstone block. A redstone torch, sorry. Redstone on top of two blocks on the other side as well. Let's start on top of two blocks. And from here, we can already start to connect our platforms. So we have here the green side, simply torch down like this. And from there on, we'll make our way in here and make sure to get this on two ticks. Same on the other side, start on top of here, redstone torch, two blocks down, piece of redstone torch, piece of redstone, and then all the way up to here and two ticks, nice. So we have now the platforms connected, we have now our decisions connected, so this line is already off. Next up we want to add in our yellow line, which is our winning uh, line. And therefore we're gonna grab some observers. We want to power this block here by adding in an observer facing into the dropper on top and then two observers down and leave this space. So if the piston pushes it up, the faces um, meet each other. So piston down there, a piece of wool, another block there. We have here four ticks, then we have a piston uh, block another torch, uh, another block, a repeater over there. After this placement, we want to make sure that we can add the redstone torches here and here. We can remove the supporting blocks, put two blocks down and place in the redstone dust. Then we have to make sure that we have here two repeaters on each side and then simply connect everything up like this. So the signal travels from the torch all the way around into here. Same goes for this side. This repeater set to two ticks, this repeater set to four ticks. So if we trigger this, you can see it, you heard it three times, but I guess there's a fourth diamond on top because we triggered it once um, in advance. And the last circuit we want to add in is now the white one. And for the white one, we want to torch or grab this output here from this block. Repeater set to four ticks. Then we have the white wool, we have redstone on top. Then we have another repeater set to two ticks. We have a piston with a white block and another two ticks there. We repeat the same procedure on the other side, like this, four ticks, a block, redstone, two ticks, piston. To uh, it should be extended since we already powered the green line. Another two ticks. And here we want to make sure that we block up also on this side. And the final goal will be to power this um, dispenser here on top. 
and it will be filled with some snowballs and we can already grab ourselves some hoppers and a chest and yeah make sure to fill this chest all the way up with snowballs and yeah you could also stack this up indefinitely to the top if you want to add in more snowballs so you're not limited by the amount of snowballs you put in there and make sure to cover this hopper here with a composter so nobody can put in some other, some other stuff in there so then we want to make sure to reach this uh, wool block here on top and we want to do that with a redstone torch ladder like this you already heard it now firing it works and we want to power this block here from th three sides so first of all we need uh, basically we need an output here and then we need two inputs on each side and the inputs will be set to two ticks and the output to one tick redstone torches are redstone dust on both sides then we have an observer and a redstone lamp the observer will basically tell the state of this lamp here and it should also fire if you place it and it will also read the state of this lamp and then we simply have to connect up these two lines together so the other side too make sure to do it like this put there some redstone and now everything should be fine so if we just want to make sure that it works yeah two pieces of snowballs firing and we yeah, are one of them landed on a pressure plate nice and i already won something because it was the green side <laughs> nice so um now to the reset circuit we want to also to reset it and we need 13 repeaters set to maximum delay and we want to build our magenta circuit like this so we have here our piece of redstone and we want to place the necessary repeaters first so here needs to be repeater one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So that's all 13 repeaters, that's around 5 seconds. And we connect it up with this redstone here. And if we power it now, we should see that it resets everything. And also this piston there should go down. Yes, it did. I didn't place this redstone in, so these pistons did not reset. <laughs> Just a small minor mistake. And yeah, we want to place in the note blocks here. Just put them against those uh, green blocks. We also want a note block if um, this system here is triggered, if the dispenser fires. So put it against this torch and also put an iron block beneath it so it makes this kind of nice sound. And the last note blocks we want to add is if we hit the green or the red side. For the green side, we will go with a very like uh, deep tone. And for this one, we'll go with a very high tone so we can uh, distinguish between red and green. And yeah, that's all done. The tutorial is now complete. I will play it now a few times, so we can now check if everything works. So we want to go to the red side. It should light, then two pieces of snowballs should fire in the air. So we hit absolutely nothing and the casino should reset at some point. Um, yeah, let's try green. It also locks in two pieces of uh, snowballs, one even fired on the ceiling. So you can get very unlucky in this contraption. Try it again. Ooh, good chances yes we hit it and now so we should end up with three diamonds that brings us all the way up to 64 again great so everything works and i hope you enjoyed the video of course you can as always download this world play around with the casino and uh, maybe improve it or play around with it built by yourself or if you made a mistake in the block by block tutorial you can always revisit the world download to really make sure that you build everything right and you could also detail this further. It looks very boring now with only blue eyes. This one looks much more appealing. But yeah, that's completely up to you as well as those signs for the customers. Uh, different servers require different rules. So maybe you have to put there in that it's a gambling machine or whatsoever. So uh, yeah, make sure to adjust those uh, taxes on the sign as you like. 
And yeah, that leaves me with one thing to say that is thanks as always for watching. I really, really appreciate all your comments, all your likes and all your views. I really like that if you enjoy the content as I do it, uh, in building this content here and uh, recording it. And yeah, I hope I see you in the next video. Bye bye.